capture. Okay, it does capture. Welcome back. We're gonna go play some Go. Um, assuming we can still log in. Oh, it did remember my credentials. Excellent. Um, sure, let's play some 9x9 Go. Using American rules, because we're here in America. Alright. So you just have to wait until this lower right corner here where it says waiting shows an opponent name, and then we'll get rolling. Again, the unfortunate downside of this interface is it doesn't show letters in numbers. Um, just imagine that the top says A through J, skipping the letter I, because board, well, I mean I or J, whatever is that last column. And then the left side of the board says 1 through 9 going down. That would be the manner in which a Go Kifu, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, would be um, annotated. So you just indicate the column and rank at which a stone is placed. Uh, for those who've never played Go before, stones are placed on the vertices, not inside the squares. I know you've probably played Knots and Crosses. It's a wonderful game. It's not Go. And go you put them on the vertices and you see that like five of these vertices are marked um, in a special way and that indicates that you know well those are just kind of i'm not even sure why those are marked other than those tend to be good places to place stones um perhaps with exception of the middle one um oh one side gets a huge advantage out of the opening Oh, yeah, you know, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, that, that's American rules. Okay, so apparently I have the white stones. Then we all, as chess players, know um, white goes second. So, assuming... There we go. My opponent has moved. So, white's just trying to claim a couple corners. That's a pretty modest objective for white. If white just doesn't get shut out of the game and doesn't get blown to pieces, um, then uh, white's succeeded. So the main thing is just try to claim some territory and try not to get cut in half. Uh, as black, you're supposed to do something more aggressive with this. Um, because white does get a handicap for going second. So already we've kind of started a fight. We've definitely set up a wall here. Um... I'm not entirely sure if you're joking. An advantage is given to go. Those darker places are where... Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. That's where the handicap stones are placed when you're playing a handicap game. At least traditionally speaking, that's where they would go. Um, that seems like a really boring move. Um... But, okay, I'll oppose it. Alright, have a good night. And, yeah, thanks. I'll need luck, I suppose. Alright, so... I don't know. Let's claim this spot in the name of Mars. Isn't it lovely? So here we have a Tetris piece in the center of the board. Um, here this looks super aggressive, but also super dangerous. Let's just cut black in half 
and see if he lives. He's got to do something to defend against this, else I just go here, or even better here. And I start to go surround this corner Tetris piece. Um, but one thing in Go is you can't have everything. Um, what would be considered an aggressive move in chess would be considered um, an overplaying Go. Go is always a game of give and take. Um, I say as I try to kill all of my opponent's stones while I'm the player who's going second. Um, oh, what? We had an option to abandon the game. That was fun. Um, so I'm just going to keep cutting through here. Like a molten knife running through butter. Okay, so he's going to oppose me. Now if I take this, he just uh, defends there. If I take this, he kills me here. Um, but if I instead just pick somewhere peaceful-ish over here, I've just reduced his territory a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately this client does not have coordinates. That's like the one downside of using this client. Um, ah, we have a fight on our hands, and I have overplayed. That's my mistake. Um, hmm. I have certainly overplayed. I needed to play a more defensive move, but now... I don't know. We play something on the other side and hope that we come out okay. This is definitely overplaying. Um, so I'm endeavoring to do something that looks pretty suicidal here. Um, but just might work, so maybe there's hope. But this is just too optimistic. Yeah, no, I effed up. All right, well. Wait, no, I can maybe connect my stones this way. This is bad. This is very bad. Okay. So I'm twice an Atari. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do to save this. Yeah, I have just ridiculously overplayed, and now I just die. Oh well, I tried. Um, so I've just died terribly on the bottom half of the board, and now I try to live on the top half with all my stones dying. Um, on the bright side, he's had to place one stone for every one that I've placed, so I've reduced his territory slightly, but he's got enough to win this. Um, Okay, 
Okay, let's heal this cut first. And then I can push into the corner and try to kill this stone or something. Something not so exciting. Um... Is this a throw-in case where I actually kill all his things? Because that would be excellent if that is the case. Um... Okay, yeah, I think that is a throw-in case where I'm just murdering all his stones here. Um, which certainly does something to get me back into the game. Um, okay. White might have an advantage here. White might have an advantage. Um, so how do I not die here? I've built up a little bit of an eye space there. I think I shouldn't have given them this corner, though. I don't know if I had enough space to live in. Okay, so he's trying to kill this group of four. This is Atari, this is Atari, he has to connect. Yeah, let's threaten that. Atari once more, force him to connect down here, and then I connect here. And I live, and he does not live. Okay, and then we break our space into two eyes, and then what? Where do we go? All right, he took my stone. Um, do I have anything better than passing? I don't think so. Where's the pass button? Um... Do I want a place here to connect my stuff together? No, I'm fine. White wins by 34. Nice. Two achievements unlocked. Win playing 9x9 and win three games in a row. Not bad. I missed out on one achievement here, which would be connect stones from one edge of the board to the other edge. I'm very close in that regard, but I forgot that it's an achievement. Um, it's one I could have gotten pretty easily here. Just placing one stone to connect my bottom group to my top group. Um, oh well. Or maybe that's just if you get a stick going the entire length of the board. I don't know. But yeah, we won a game, somehow. Um, so, okay, the left and right arrow keys do navigate the game, up and down do not. Um, I'm not sure that my bantering during the game um, can be expanded upon any further. I left a pretty obvious cut back here, where I don't have any re- well, no, I can defend against it, it's just really painful too. Um, so instead of playing this stone on the edge, like I should have just played basically anywhere else in this vicinity. But maybe I shouldn't have pushed so aggressively either, because this leaves an obvious cutting point behind. I was trying to push into this corner. Yeah, it was a very exciting game. 
is very blunderific. I'm not sure what else to call it. I put a ton of pressure on black. Um, and see how I have like three liberties here plus the one. Um, which I actually filled, which was a stupid thing to do. What I should be doing is going after this left side of the board and trying to reclaim this um, stuff. Especially because this here, this one, two, three, four, plus these two, don't have enough space to live. So if I just surround this, um, if I'm very quick about it, then maybe my group in the lower left doesn't die. Um, so I've got two, like one, two liberties here, maybe two and a half. These here have one, two, three. So if I do, even if I try to capture this, I'm not going to be there in time. Um, but where I lost these, hmm, I have three liberties, they have three liberties. So if I hit this and they connect up and then I try to surround this, how does this go? I try to kill this, one, two to go. They try to kill me. Uh, suppose I do, no, actually that would be not the right way to go here. No, that's not any better. Um, Yeah, I'm just like nowhere close here because I get surrounded. So I pushed much too aggressively. Um, yeah, it's an interesting game. Revert, and this will put us back on the main line. So now I've actually given myself some chance down here. So maybe now this works. Maybe now he's just a little bit too slow to surround me. Um, so how do I get down here? Oh, right. Now I have to surround this first. So I have to like try to approach this and two and then three and then four and then five. So I'm still like way too slow. This can't work. But in the game it did work. Somehow I just distracted him long enough. Uh, this here capturing two of my stones was just gratuitous. He didn't need to do that. Um, this filling my own liberty was pretty stupid. Because I need that liberty if we ever have a race. Yeah, so let's go back and play another game. That was not the most accurate game ever. Even for me. Even by my standards. It was exciting, though. So where are we? Alex D. whatever. Gualetiere. Mm hmm. That's an interesting username. Okay, so this is pretty weird, isn't it? This is definitely weird. Okay, your guess as to what's going on is as good as mine. Um, maybe. So, I don't know. Do we, like, try to push through here? Do we approach this corner? Like, what do we do? Oh, I've just cut myself. Well, that's going to hurt. Maybe. I don't know. Is it? Who knows what's going on in these 9x9 boards? Um, okay, so we claim some space in the name of Mars. 
Isn't it lovely? If he goes on the first line, I don't know that I'm too scared. Um, right, so he Ataris me. This stone is a goner. It was nice knowing it. Um, hmm. I feel like this is much too aggressive, but it also seems like a fun thing to try. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, if I'm going to sit here and then play it anyway, then what's the point? Yeah, let's do it. Why think before playing moves? Okay, so he forces me to back up a little bit. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna build a little bit of a wall here. Oh, that's a double Atari. That's not cool. Wait, what? He plays a defensive move. That's a sane thing to do. Um. Oh, wow. So do we just declare this game ended then? Um, there's really not much either of us can do to make this more interesting. I don't think. I mean, I could try to invade under these stones or something like that. Um, but yeah, now here we're talking about endgame points. Hmm, one, two, three. If I go here, he connects. If I go here, he Atari's me. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I don't have anything better to do. Now, I could try to invade and do something silly on his side of the board. Um, all right, so we're in overtime one. There's no reason not to try this, even if it's pretty much destined to not succeed. Um, there's no penalty for trying it. So. So we play the game. Now, if he doesn't have to respond, then then it's not profitable for me to be doing this. But as long as he's forced to keep responding, then there's no harm in me doing this. But no, I think this is over. So we pass and just say, okay, you got it, buddy. And then we count up who's got more space. My box of 20 points or his whatever. So I've got 26.5, including my handicap. He's got 30. So he just wins by uh, three and a half. Assuming he agrees to uh, capturing my stones. So yeah, I don't know what happened. Your opponent has not responded a while. Do you wish to abandon the game? This may count as a loss. Okay, this is weird. Um, I'd have to look at the official site to see if the game got scored. That's really weird. Why would there not be a response? Well, let me take a look. Unfortunately, this is going to make a little bit of noise. So let's go to the online... In fact, let me move my mic so there's not so much noise. OnlineGo.com Sign in. I think it's possibly just that my client screwed up. 
Um, no, the game's still there. I've accepted the score. And he's left? Okay. So my client is accurately reporting what's going on. No, I was pretty confident that I was busted throughout the game. I don't know why he's not accepting this scoring. I mean, it looked close because I got a lot of stones in a vertical line there, and it looked scary. But he defended excellently and claimed three corners. And I did not claim three corners, so... The only way in which this could be a close game is if I somehow invaded and killed his things, which I entirely failed to do. Um... I gave away much too much, and he took it, as he should. Now we just have to wait for him to accept the scoring or get penalized or something. I don't get it. Why would he not accept this? It seems pretty straightforward that, like, there's nothing I can do to improve upon the status quo here. I don't know how to... Yeah, possibly his internet failed, but is he online? Is there a way I can see that? Um, I mean, I totally can... Well, I should just concede the game then. Um... What's my opponent's rank? Something Q. I can't read that. What's his rank? Yeah, so I'll just concede this then. There we go. Yeah, otherwise he just has two minutes to get back to the game, but... Um, okay, black wins by resignation. Because my four stones die. If not for that, um, we might have something, but... Uh, since I can't surround this little pocket here, and since he connects all his stones together and lives everywhere, um, I just failed to reduce this. So, let's go back play another game. Maybe he's not familiar with stone counting or something, but that seems unlikely. Alright. I'm gonna get a little snack here. Oh, never mind. We have an opponent. And we have black. Let's go. Oh, we have the same opponent. Same guy who didn't know how to resign last time. Let's see what he plays. Okay, so he takes the cornerstones there. How does he play against this? Um, okay. What? How would, how does that work? I'm going to push you into my other stones. Um, that's weird. Why would you do that? Okay. I cut you. I cut you again. Alright, so I'm not going to fight over this one little stone in the center. Well, no, it's a useful stone to keep, so we'll keep it. 
Um, but amazing. He's fighting for three corners again. That's pretty spectacular. I wish I could do that kind of fighting. Uh, crap, so I could extend further, but this will just get me killed. I could try to surround here. I don't think this works. Not even close. <sighs> so I could go on, like, the biggest adventure ever trying to kill something. Um, ultimately just dying in the process. Or we can do something much more sane and less ambitious. So, yeah, I'm ticked about how this turned out. This did not turn out very well at all. Now, he's got like three cutting points. Which, if any of these, can I cut at effectively? Like, if I place in the center... I just don't know which one to cut first. Let's try this. See what he decides. But this seems like a wasted move. Then I cut here. I don't know if that was a good or a bad idea. It feels like a terrible idea. Um... He's just going to kill these two. Oh, I'm an Atari again, so I have to defend. Okay, and then when we Atari this, he's got to defend that. And... Yeah, I don't know where to go from here. This is terrible. How is he so good? How am I this bad? Nine by nine is hard. Whatever, we're... I can pass. I'm already down by nine points. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm down by 12 and a half. Amazing. Just completely dominated. Not even a contest. I don't get it. Like, what in the world happened here? Well, I didn't attack. I just, like, my one attack I played the game was just a terrible idea. Um, or maybe it was okay, but then the fact, yeah, like, I have no strategy for 9x9. Nine nine. Um, none at all. I played, like, super passively, which just is not working out. All right. Um, let's try a larger board. This is a bit more of a commitment. Um, however, if it works out, it'll be pretty glorious. Uh, can I zoom in on this? Oh, that probably cuts off the bottom line. There we go. So now we can see all the squares. I have white, which we all know means I go second. I say we all know that, but really, do we know that? How many of us knew that? Come on. 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty tough position. Not gonna lie. Definitely merits some pondering. Has anybody solved this game yet? This seems like a really difficult game to try to solve. Just think, there's so many possibilities. I am playing white, right? Yeah, it's not letting me move. So... Okay. Yeah, I don't know where to go from here. We played some 9x9. We got killed badly in 9x9. Although the first game we were losing, and did manage to pull it out somehow by a miracle. Um, and then following that... Oh, White wins by resignation. Excellent. Victory is mine. And well deserved. No. No. I just, I'm joking around because I don't know what more to say. Go is difficult, and uh, we will get the hang of it eventually. But for now, maybe it's best to retire after that lovely win. Yeah. There are a number of... Um, Joseki and Fuseki, a number of patterns that players recognize. And it's very possible that my opponent earlier today just happens to know more patterns than I do. Which certainly helps when you're playing a very, very fast game of 9x9 Go like we were playing. I mean, I say for me it's fast playing 30 seconds per move on my 9x9 board. It feels a lot faster when your opponent is blitzing all their moves, and you feel, like, super intimidated by that. Um, but yeah, either way, Ancient Go is still a really nice user interface. I enjoy it. I know spectators are crying for coordinates, because um, that makes it a more interactive experience for us here. Where you can say, like, oh, I saw this wonderful idea starting with a move on some coordinate. Um, and that would encourage more discussion, but I don't know. I think Go could be fun, even just spectating and hanging out together. Um, and in a way, it'd be nice to be able to view, um, you can see on the online Go server page, you can see games in progress other than your own. It'd be kind of nice if this had a way to just view, I don't know, one of the top games out there. I'm not sure how much work that would take from the developer, but that'd be a cool feature. And then, then maybe there's a greater argument for having coordinates and saying everybody wants to look at the same position and be able to comment on it together and all that stuff. Um, I still like this interface. It's fun to play on. Might not be appropriate for streaming, so maybe I'll have to go back to the web client. Um, but yeah. We'll continue this again another time where I'm a little bit better composed. Um, so, thanks for watching, and have a good weekend. Have a good day, night, whatever. And maybe I'll pick up a, another stream sometime.